Jack Hewitt won the 30-lap feature, his second in a row and third out of the last four. Hewitt and others then headed for a silver crown encounter at Ducoin, Illinois, where Jack was going for two in a row in that division. Gary Lee has details. That's right, Bob. Hewitt started on the pole position at this 100-lap event, but it was the number 12 car of Jeff Swindell who took the lead from him at the start and held it until George Snyder in the black 11 passed him on the backstretch. With this start, Ziggy tied my old buddy Larry Rice's record of 100 Silver Crown starts. His 100th start over 23 years of Ziggy's Silver Crown career. Meanwhile, behind him, Hewitt and Swindell battled for second position, with Hewitt taking the spot for good as Swindell's tires went away. Then Snyder experienced mechanical problems as well as he slowed going into turn one, throwing up his arm to warn everybody behind him he'd lost his brakes. That gave the lead to Hewitt on lap 34, and after leading 10 more circuits, he moved past Gary Bettenhausen on the all-time Silver Crown lap leader list. The most serious mishap occurred with only eight laps to go when Tony Stewart tagged the guardrail and then snap rolled down the track. He was taken to nearby Carbondale Memorial Hospital for x-rays. They were negative. He spent the night and was released the next day. Hewitt managed to hold off Swindell to take his record 16th Silver Crown victory. Behind them, Ron Schimmel was third, Mike Bliss fourth, and Chuck Gurney fifth. Bliss still maintains a slight lead in the Silver Crown points going to this Saturday's Hoosier 100 at the Indiana State Fairgrounds. For Speed Week, I'm Gary Lee.